Now, it's another estate of what will be 2,000 new homes, but this is a housing development with a history. The former army garrison at Arborfield in Berkshire is being given a new use. During the First World War, the site was used to prepare horses for service on the front line. Today, three life-size statues of war horses were unveiled. As Alan Sinclair reports, it's hoped the sculpture will ensure its history won't be forgotten. Commissioned on the centenary of the end of the Great War, these horses were crafted by sculptor Amy Goodman at her Hampshire studio before being cast in iron resin. Her previous works include the weary war horse and soldier unveiled by the Princess Royal in Romsey. This trio has pride of place at the former Arborfield garrison site in Berkshire, currently being redeveloped for housing. At first glance, they're simply running, but a closer look reveals a deeper connection to this site's past as an army remount depot, preparing horses for the Western Front. So many of them got killed and didn't come back, um, but he's free of his tack. You can see the 1918 inscribed in his hooves, as well as um, branding from the remount depot, hogged mane, short tail, as he would have been prepared for the front, but it wasn't about him pulling all the munitions behind him, but the Gabian retaining wall sort of nods to the trenches. So perhaps when people walk by, they might ask some questions about what this is about. And in the Boer War, which took place in the 1890s, um, they quickly learned that the soldiers were nothing without ammunition and weapons, and the only way that they could carry them were on horses. And so the lessons learned from that, taking forward into 19 early 1900s, 1904, of course, was we need horses. Let's get the remount centers going. One of few surviving original buildings is the stable block used as an equine hospital from 1904. It's being restored for use by the new community, moving into what's now called Arborfield Green. It's important to us to preserve the history of the site and actually to, to make it a feature of the site. Um, we really think it's something that adds to the community we're building here uh, and something that uh, our residents should be aware of and understand. It's a constant reminder to anybody who is driving through here, uh, to anybody who does research about the, ha the horses in World War I, of something that has been almost buried. This area has new purpose, but its place in history won't be forgotten. Alan Sinclair, BBC South Today. Yeah, beautiful sculpture.